What's up nerds, Cloud here with another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. And the reason why I'm trying to lean is uh, to show off the new tattoo. And we got the Kakashi eye, so my elbow literally has a thousand jutsus in it. So, that's cool. Anyway, jumping into the news for Dissidia, the official Dissidia Twitter posted out that on March 29th, at 2 o'clock UTC, we'll open Chapter 7. Uh, 2 o'clock UTC is Universal Something Code. Throw that into Google and figure out your time zone, what that translates to for you. Um, it seems like we're going to be able to recruit Vincent from Final Fantasy VII, fan favorite. Zell, who's got the, he's got the paws. And we have Lael from Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Um, for anyone that's ever played the GameCube Crystal Chronicles, um, Lael is a character from Crystal Bears. Uh, in that game, he has a piece of the Crystal Shard in his body, so he is resistant to the Miasma. And Miasma is a mechanic in the game that it sits around you, uh, and you someone has to bear the mirror or mire. I can't remember how to pronounce it perfectly. Um, but it was a really cool mechanic for a game that didn't get a lot of love, but we'll be getting Lyle here pretty soon So um, We're gonna be getting more news tomorrow It seems like but I wanted to jump ahead and see if I can just go over some of the character specifics uh, I know nothing about the characters uh, uh, equipment as they come out uh, because we do not know if Any character is gonna get the 35 CP weapon like Titus just did uh, however the hope is that Vincent will be getting his 35 CP weapon since he's going to be kind of the the conductor of the hype train. But let's jump right into it. And we're at Lyle. And honestly, he doesn't seem to be the greatest, most useful character. When Titus came out, he didn't seem the greatest, but then his gear really boosted him up. So maybe his gear will help him. He fits one niche of a chase sequence starter. Anyone can start a chase sequence depending on how many times an enemy's hit. Uh, Lael just helps uh, shorten that window. Uh, there's other characters that act as brave batteries or as uh, breakers uh, to get the brave bonus. And Lael just assists with that portion. Just Again, everyone's good at something and Lael's the best chase sequence initiator in the game upcoming. Um, his stats are really good across the board for a magic user. He has a lot of attack and the that, that's nice. Um, his weapon type is a uh, throwing weapon, um, so any of those boomerangs that you might have uh, will hang around from your favorite character, Hope. Uh, you can throw on him if you do so fit or uh, do some full swarm. He's a yellow type crystal, uh, so make sure to farm those up uh, if you're interested in leveling up this character. Um, so one of his commands is the field burst, a one hit brave attack. It grants a low probability of inflicting gravity down. And gravity down lowers the required amount of hits uh, to initiate a chase sequence, and this lasts for five turns. So, during uh, initiating a chase sequence is really good. It's, it's useful. A lot of people don't uh, get the mechanic behind. You want to make sure that you HP attack before. This is a brave attack. And you want to. You always want to HP attack during a chase sequence. You get 20% more damage once the enemy hits the wall. But you have to do an HP attack to get that. Um, his other uh, command ability is the energy gain, a one hit brave and HP attack. Uh, makes it easier to initiate a chase scene. It grants the magical attack up for three turns. I'm not too sure about the grants magical attack up for three turns. I can only assume um, since he is a magic user, it's just going to boost the amount of brave that he can get back from it. Um, but this, uh, again, it he's a character that wants to initiate the chase scene. He wants to be the one full sprinting, jumping in the air, and flying around with all his friends. So, uh, again, it fits a really niche, niche, if I'm even saving that word right, on I don't even know anymore. His passive abilities, at least that are reported on the Dissidia database, are nothing to, nothing special. Most characters have these. Uh, slightly increase the chance of XYZ, uh, increase brave, increase damage, increase the amount of times X ability can be used. Uh, nothing too specific for him. His gear list is very subpar. Um, his Paso Kilanda increases the potency of energy gain, lowers its action delay, and makes it much more easier to initiate chasing. The one thing cool about that is I don't remember seeing another weapon, correct me if I'm wrong, anyone, but it says much more easier to initiate. Most of the time we get a, a slight bonus or 
uh, slight. Uh, very rarely do we see a weapon or an ability say much more. So increases its use of energy gain by one, raises all allies brave based on their max brave, doesn't have a percentage, nor do I know how much that uh, brave is going to be given up for everyone. And increase the potency of magical attack up and extends its duration. Again, so once you use that ability, you're going to get magic attack up. I don't know the percentage or the damage, the amount of brave that you can get from that, but this is going to boost it up very high. Um, this is a 35 CP weapon, and he is probably the less hype character. I very much so doubt that the 35 CP weapon is going to come out. So we're probably going to get the Phantom Titta, which increases the potency of Field Burst and raises the success rate of gravity down and extends its duration. So, uh, again, Field Burst is the command. Gravity down is the passive that comes from it. So it's going to bump up the success rate for chase sequences, and then it's going to extend the duration uh, for five turns to blank. All in all, he's really not that impressive of a character right now. Uh, there's not a lot of content, if at all any, that requires us to do a lot of chase scenes. So uh, excited for a character that has a crystal shard embedded in his cheek, because I'm a really big fan of stars. But really not the coolest character or anything that's going to change the game. If you're pumped for him, by all means, uh, hype it up, please. So let's move on to the next hype character that we're getting within Chapter 7 is Zell from Final Fantasy VIII, uh, physical damage dealer that uses his fists to answer all the questions. Uh, he will literally punch you in the back of the face. Uh, he utilizes the red crystals, so if you wanted to buff him up, make sure to farm those out. I really don't think he's going to be a top tier character. Even with this 35 CP weapon, he just doesn't seem to have all the tools to stay super relevant on a team. Um, however, currently right now, uh, he's still a strong attack, strong damage dealer. Um, high HP, not that high attack uh, coming from a character like, like Zell, a physical damage dealer, but the max bravery is phenomenal. Super high up there, uh, allowing him to utilize the some of most more bravery, as well as have more bravery stored to attack the enemy. Um, command abilities are Punch Rush, which is a four hit brave attack, uh, grants duel for three turns, and medium max brave up for six turns. Inflicts small defense down for three turns. So he has that little smidge of debuffing in there um, to assist with the damage. So a uh, duel greatly raises your attack power. So with the debuff of small defense town, a uh, duel grants higher attack power. A four hit brave attack is a phenomenal move. Uh, Punch Rush is going to be that move you're going to use to kind of take away the enemy's bravery while boosting your own up or to unlock uh, duel so that you have more attack power. Um, so it, it kind of fits two different roles. Um, once you utilize this attack and you have dual unlocked, um, Burning Rave is now available. It raises your bravery by 1.25 before inflicting a two hit AoE Brave HP attack. 100% of the damage is inflicted to the main target while the rest take a 20% splash damage and it removes dual. So utilizing Punch Rush, getting that Brave up, maybe possibly breaking the enemy. Uh, going into uh, Burning Rave. Uh, it's going to boost up your bravery, not not hitting them first. It's going to boost it up ever so slightly by 1.2 by your max bravery. And then it's going to attack, so it's going to deplete your bravery completely. Uh, whoever you're focusing on is going to hit 100%. The splash damage will hit everyone else. So 20% of whatever your max bravery that you're throwing out there. Um, burning attack is going to be a phenomenal tool, especially uh, against mobs and characters that have a bunch of enemies out there. Um, we're starting to get into the HP all attack, so Dark Knight Cecil has the ability to break down bravery for all, just like other characters. Um, Punch Rush to Burning Rave reminds me a lot of Terra, uh, utilizing a move to kind of buff yourself, uh, but this one actually does bravery hits as opposed to just innately give you uh, buffs that last uh, quite a few turns. Burning Rave will take away your duel though. Um, the next move he has is uh, Thunder Type, it's a one hit Brave attack. Grants duel for three turns and medium max brave up for six turns. Inflicts small defense down again, throwing a little little nugget of uh, defense down. Um, duel greatly raises your attack. So Guya and Punch Rush are both going to give you duel, unlocking Burning Rave. Uh, also unlocking uh, the next attack, Meteor Barrage. A uh, one hit or brave and HP attack for moves duel. Um, Meteor Barrage, uh, it's funny, Booyah, he runs up to the enemy, like kind of like two fists, and like hits him, so it, maybe it's supposed to be, Booyah, but the attack is kind of like laughable, it really doesn't do that much damage, it's one hit, uh, Meteor Barrage is the one that's going to break though, um, again, it's, you got Thunder Edelman type, so we're starting to get into the 
resistance and debuff. I mean, we've always been into the debuffs, but now we're going into the resistance and what they're not resistant to. So, utilizing the Meteor Barrage against an enemy of a water type or anyone that'd be um, susceptible to Thunder uh, is going to do uh, a high amount of damage. Uh, with this character, I'm still going to utilize Punch Rush, uh, Burning Rave, and then followed by Meteor Barrage. I'm only going to really, really utilize Booyah with this character. Aside from the max uses, once his 35 CP weapon comes out, I'm only going to use Booyah to uh, assist with my buffs. I'd rather save my Punch Rush unless I can use my Punch Rush to uh, break the enemy's Rave, get that bonus, and then utilize Burning Rave when I need to. Um, which you can always pocket it. You have dual uh, for three. Uh, you have dual for three turns. So you can always pocket it, raise your brave up for two more turns, and then knock out with Burning Rave or Meteor Barrage. Uh, passive lists are really good. Um, a little bit more than Leo was. Uh, Punch Rush Extended is what's going to really set him apart from other characters. Uh, it's going to boost him up a lot. I do not think that we're going to get his 35 CP weapon, and it's phenomenal. Increases Booyah's maxes uses by two. Increasing the potency of Booyah to Meteor Barrage. The Booyah used extend the duration of Duel. Increase the potency of Defense Down and grant small physical attack up for 6 turns. So not only you're getting Duel, which is high attack up, you're getting small physical attack up, you're getting uh, Defense Down, the potency of that. Uh, I would just like to know the duration of Duel, how much longer that extends the gauntlet. We're most likely going to get Maverick, increases the potency of Punch Rush and Burning Rave, so it's going to give us uh, not more to duel, but maybe more of that defense down portion, or maybe a little bit more brave damage to it, uh, and extend duel's duration, which I would have said it wasn't, but I can't read. Um, I don't think that uh, Zell is going to change the tier game by any means, uh, not without a 35 CP weapon. Uh, still a fun character, that 4-hit Brave in the Meteor Barrage with the Thunder Element is going to be useful down the road, especially for maybe Trials of Leviathan or any character that utilizes uh, water-based attacks. Um, his passives, again, I didn't speak too much about Lyle. I don't think anyone's going to farm too hard for him. Uh, you always want to go for uh, artifacts that boost your uh, attack, your max bravery, or, and boost a ability for that character. So this is attack damage here, right? That's, I'm specifically talking about Zell. So getting anything for um, self taught martial arts, Punch Rush, and Booyah Power Up uh, is going to be the best. Uh, I know that grinding artifacts can be a pain. Um, but if you want to make the character the best that you can, you definitely need to grind the artifacts. I really think that um, uh, with the upcoming uh, Chapter 7, it's going to be different on how to get his uh, artifacts uh, unless you, unless they throw in a co-op somewhere, which they might. There's not that much information about it. But right now, there's really no way to get passives uh, for characters that aren't on a specific banner. But with Chapter 7 coming out, they might switch that around a little bit. So. All in all, Zell is going to be a great Brave and HP damage dealer. Again, coming in with the Thunder Element is phenomenal. Not the highest tier character, which is always disappointing, uh, but they got to kind of keep, you know, tiers here, tiers there, tiers there. So, uh, Zell's definitely a phenomenal character. I definitely want to try to pull for his Maverick. If his 35 CP weapon comes out, even better, I need to go Super Saiyan. I need to get a face tattoo. I only have tattoos on my arm and my chest and my legs. Lucrezia! We got Vincent coming in finally. Honestly, he's not, from what I'm seeing, again, another top tier character that's phenomenal. Uh, this entirely depends on if he's gonna be released with his 35 CP weapon. Since Titus's weapon was released, we're starting to see that climb where weapons are starting to become more of a factor now. Uh, they really kind of separate a character who is mid to low tier to high to even top tier. Um, Vincent is a crystal white power type. Uh, he is a ranged attacker. He's going to utilize that shotgun or pistol of his, depending on which one you have. Again, high attack, very high defense, surprisingly. Uh, he's not like a tank, uh, more of a debuffer. A max bravery, again, super high. Super high on, on the same path as uh, Zell was previously. Um, command abilities, nothing too flashy. Uh, nothing without his 35 CP weapon, or even his 15 CP weapon. Um, Deadly Beast Flare, a fire one-hit brave attack, inflicts medium initial brave down, uh, and fire resistance down for four turns, grants fire enhancement to himself, uh, fire enhancement grants fire elemental brave attacks for four turns. So, uh, 
really specific. Uh, you you want to be fighting a boss that is A, uh, you can't hit with physical attacks, or if we ever get to that point, or B, the enemy is weak to a certain element, which is fire or thunder. Um, uh, Live Wire Shut is the exact same concept, except for it is thunder based. Uh, Brave Attack we'll get into in a second. Um, again, both these attacks not the greatest. It's a one hit Brave Attack, so that means that you're going to hit one time with Brave, enhance your weapon um, for four turns, and then you're going to go back to using Brave Brave or HP uh, to inflict damage. So definitely not a character you want to bring uh, for high Brave uh, fights, uh, enemies that have a significant amount. Uh, but definitely useful uh, for fights uh, with summons. Uh, but again, when you use a summon, you get that innate uh, element, uh, whatever element that summon is, such as Ifrit, you automatically your team will get that fire passive. Um, his passive abilities, again, same realm as Zell. Um, most of them are increased or slightly increased. Deadly Beast Quest and Live Extend Shots, or uh, Live Wire Extend Shots, are two that you really want to go for. But again, those aren't going to be locked until uh, Christian Strength 50, or I'm sorry, uh, Beyond 50. Um, gear list. So, uh, this is all we're kind of waiting for, so hopefully tomorrow they kind of explain a little bit more. But Dark Shout increases the potency of Live Wire Shot and lowers its action delay. Increases the potency of attack down its duration, increases max bravery and extends the duration, extends the duration of a thunder and enchantment, and turns brave attack into brave plus attack while thunder enhancement is up and lowers its action delay. Brave attack up, one hit brave attack with a low action delay, it lasts for six turns after using live wire shot, it requires uh, dark shouts passives. Um, again, uh, it, the weapon helps him. But it doesn't take it even further beyond, as Goku would say. Uh, a hype character I'm definitely going to be pulling for whatever weapon comes out. After doing a little bit more research, the banner that came out uh, for the Japanese version did not have Live Shout. It had his other one, his Short Barrel. That weapon, uh, however, same thing with Titus. Uh, they had a different banner, but then we got the 35 CP weapon kind of out of nowhere. Uh, so I really think that we're going to get the Dark Shout. A uh, short barrel increases the potency of Deadly Beast Flare and increases the potency of Initial Breakdown and its duration. So as hyped as I am for Vincent, he really doesn't have, uh, at least from what I see right now, um, not the greatest skill set. Uh, one hit Brave Attack, that's not even with HP. Uh, the enhancement for the weapon is really good, uh, but again, niche. Uh, he doesn't take over Cloud, he doesn't take over Squall, he doesn't take over Titus if you have Titus' 35 CP weapon, uh, because that turns his attack into an uh, HP attack. Um, I'm super pumped for him, I really want to pull uh, whatever weapon comes out for him. Um, he's really not going to fit that well on any specific team that I can see. Um, he's only going to be able to fit on a team for a boss, like this boss is a water element. I want to utilize my thunder attacks along with Zell. Uh, this boss is ice type. I want to utilize my fire. Um, good, not great. Uh, he looks dope as hell, though. Um, so that's going to do it, guys. This is kind of a long video. Uh, it's been a while since I've done another review, so I uh, wanted to take some time just to get back to you guys, try to get back in the swing of things. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below. I respond to all comments. Check me out on Twitch. I will be streaming this game. I'll for sure be doing uh, some pulls. I have a lot of tickets left over. Um, anyway, nerds, thank you guys so much for listening. Hopefully this helped you. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all those cool things. And as soon as I can find the stop button, we will get out.